you need one light dumbbell, a three pound, a five pound, somewhere around there. And you might want to be close to the wall or close to a chair, anything you can touch for help with balance if that is a challenge for you. I want you to grab your light dumbbell. I want the dumbbell in your left hand and then your right leg is lifted and your base of support is on the right side, okay? So left leg holding you up, left arm arcing overhead. So find your balance on one leg. You can touch that foot to the opposite leg if that helps and arc it overhead with the dumbbell. Here we go, We're arc it overhead one and down with control. Two, we're gonna go eight, three. Balance is hard when something is moving. Four, five, six. Stare at one thing in front of you. Seven, one more, eight. Same thing, other side. Left hand has the, I'm sorry, right hand has the dumbbell. Opposite knee is lifted, arm out to the side. Touch something if you need to. Here we go, eight times. Arc up, one, two, slow on the return. Three, four, five, six, seven. Feel that standing leg working hard and eight done with that set that aside we will do that again going to the floor for the next one no equipment needed get my camera down all right you're gonna be lying face up on the floor this is that one where you roll onto your side so you're in dead bug position with feet lifted knees at tabletop arms up and then you roll onto one side, elbow, hip, and knee, and then you press up. And you're looking to make that a little bit smooth and roll back. And then other side, lift. Now you don't have to lift that top leg, so you can roll onto your side, lift your hip, and then set it back down. You're going to go side to side. This will be for time. Three, two, one, and go. Roll onto one side. Kind of float up into that side hip lift and then back pause in the upper uh the dead bug position roll onto the other side this is the one we talked about that you end up rolling off of your mat <laughs> looking for some control through the core trying to make it as smooth as you can these types of things actually help us practice getting up off the floor, which becomes more important with time. You're almost done. Three, two, and one. Done with that. Go ahead and get yourself up. Grab a drink if you need it. We're gonna go back to the balance one with the one dumbbell. This video is being recorded, so it will be in the archive so that you can do it on your own time for extra workouts or if you have to miss a day or if you just like it. <laughs> All right, dumbbell in, let's see, left hand. We started with left hand. Dumbbell in the right hand. Left knee up. Left arm out for balance. Arcing overhead. Here we go. Left fingers can be grazing the wall. If you need a little bit of help with the balance or just touch it when you need to. Ooh, three. Is that too harder? Getting tired. Four. Five. Six, goal is to keep that leg up the whole time. Seven, set it down if you need to. And eight, 
you start to wobble, don't risk it. Don't risk a fall. Just set the foot down, reset. Pass that dumbbell to your left hand. Right knee lifted, right arm out for balance. Eight reps, here we go. Arc it up one, down with control. Two, three. I do have my palm facing forward the whole time. I don't think I said that before. Two sets, final set, five. Six, seven, and eight. Done with that. Before you go to the floor, we're gonna do that one we did, but then you're going to need your ball and you can set up, once you're down there, you're staying down there now. So get your ball close by, lower your camera if you want to. First though, the one dead bug and then rolling onto your side for side hip raises. Doing another set of this. This is about 50 seconds, five zero. Legs at tabletop, arms lifted, three, two, one, go. Roll onto one side, slow it up into that side hip raise. And then other side. A little bit too close to my fireplace. So you are using your core strength when you roll onto your side and then have that little spot where it gets hard to push into that, that side balance move here. So exhale through that hard part. Give yourself a little boost with the exhale in any parts that feel challenging. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're done with that. Let's switch to hands and knees for the next one. Let me switch my camera angle. So hands and knees, roll up your mat. If you need extra cushioning, put pillow under your knees, things like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for time on this next one. Two options on this one or a combo. You're going to be on hands and knees. You're going to lift your right arm and your left leg and find your balance and be like a table. Now, option one is to touch that hand and knee underneath and then reach long again and repeat that. Option two, harder, is to reach over. Try to find your foot, all right? And you're keeping that back thigh parallel to the floor. So you're not sinking it down and twisting or anything like that. You're trying to keep this table, bend that knee so that thigh is lifted. So you'll get some hamstring work on that. Pick a side, you're gonna do it for time so you can just focus on form right arm, left leg, lift them up, find the balance. Now get that whole table an inch higher. Here's your beats. Touch under and reach or touch over, or you can do a combo. I'm doing both just so that it's showing in the video. 30 seconds on this side. It's kind of a joke with this move with some clients, they like reach back and they're like, wagging their hand around like, I know my foot's back there somewhere. <laughs> Can't always find it. Almost done. Three, two, one. Here's your beep. Sit in a child's pose for a few count. And then come right back up. Hands and knees, shoulders over the wrists. Left arm, right leg, lift them up. Find your balance, now lift the entire table. Here is your beep, go. Touch under or over or both. Okay. 30 seconds per side. This feels like full body balance. Working the back of the body, abs are bracing. Eight seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, you need your ball. So 
the next one is a minute, which seems like a long time. So you can end sooner when you need to, right? You just stop and take a rest. And there's, there's an obvious resting position in this one, which is here. This is our start position. And you have the ball in your hands. You're going to extend the ball overhead, legs go straight, hold for three, two, one, if you can. That can also be a single. So it can be a reach and exhale, pull it right back in. You go only as low as you can go without letting your ribs arch away from the floor. Inhale to get ready. Exhale, here's your beep. Extend long and if you can hold for three, two, one, and bring it back to start position. Your head and shoulders stay down the whole time. I want you to bring your belly button, pull it in toward the floor. Whoa, I almost lost my ball. Pin your back, don't let it arch away. If you only open part way, it's still really, really, really hard. It's not always harder to go fully open, but you get a full range on that. Either way, you're gonna feel it. The resting position is when you close it up and you just hold there for a few extra counts because a minute is a long time. Do what you can. Hang in there, you're almost done. There's your beep and rest. All right, set the ball off to the side. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Drop your knees to one side. Shoulder blades touching the mat. So you lay in a twist. This is our resting position when we get to this point in the workout. Put the light stretch on the abs and give this a nice active rest here. Up and over to the other side. And then we go back to the hands and knees one. Get my timer set up properly. This one's a lot shorter. Left arm, right leg to start. Left arm, here we go. Left arm, right leg, find your balance. Lift the whole table. Here's your beep. Touch under or over or alternate. Always looking for what I call challenging, but doable. So you're picking the variation that you can do with pretty good form, but it is hard and you have to focus. It can be really frustrating to do one of these and, and wobble and feel like it's really, really hard. And then in four weeks, all of a sudden you're doing it and not having to think about it. There is your beep. Go ahead and sit in child's pose. That's the kind of exercise you see improvement pretty quick. Rest. Hmm. We're only going to have time for two sets. I might um, edit in a third set for the video as an option. Back up to hands and knees, right arm, left leg. Find your balance. Lift the whole table so you're lifting out of that arm. Here we go. Here's your beep, go ahead and start. So you're trying not to hang really, really heavy in the supporting arm. Definitely pause in each position. That's a test that you got the balance and you're not just using momentum. Momentum probably isn't our friend on this anyway. Four. Three, two, and one. Done with that. Back to the ball, lying face up, balls in the hands. This is nice and long, one minute. So do what you can, take breaks when you need to. Inhale to get ready. Going in three, two, one. Here's your beat. Balls in the hands, pin your back to the floor, pull your belly button in, exhale it closed. It's hard to know where to exhale on this move. I start to inhale as I open. 
slowly and then I exhale as I close. Reset your back each time you pull it in. So pin, 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 anchor yourself to the floor and then try to keep it anchored throughout the entire move. <clears throat> Not easy. This is also called hollow body. You'll see gymnasts doing this, <laughs> dancers, very, very hard. Getting close. Ah, there's your beep. Breath. 